Hey Diva Dolls, I'm um, coming in really quickly just to chit chat a little bit, um, recap um, about this Google's Plus and YouTube account joining together. Mm, changes. They're supposed to be good. I guess it's a time for uh, patience to come into play because I get I'm getting real frustrated. Um, but I know that eventually we'll all get the hang of it. We got this circle thing going on, right? Anyway, I also wanted to come to you really quickly about my hair. I just wanted to share some products with you. And I finally got it. And I know that you all have seen it. And some of you have been using it faithfully for years. But I just got my order about a week ago. Um, it's the um, Tropic, um, Tropic Black Castor Oil. And this is what I had been waiting on. So, oh, excuse me this here and I got it through Amazon as well as my grapeseed oil and I also have some jojoba oil by these same the same um, now solutions but it's downstairs and I'm not going to go down there and get it um, also I have the tropic strong roots red pimento hair growth oil and this has a little bit of a Mm, a stench to it almost like a medicine -y type smell and it does give you a little bit of tingly not bad feeling but lets you know your scalp is arisen um, so I've been using that for a couple of days um, and before I had already shared with you that I have been using these products been leaking I have been using this um, Agadir Argan Oil Hair Treatment it hydrates and conditions I am telling you I have been using this for about a month and a half or two months now and it is the bomb.com it, it's light the texture is very very um I love it and I it doesn't have a bad smell to it and it's very very nurturing to my hair it works for me so I recommend that you try this and you can find this in your local CVS and the only thing about it is really really pricey so um I believe that and I also you can get it out of Kroger's. I think this small bottle, I have a smaller bottle than this, or either this is a small bottle. No, this is a small bottle. This one came out of Kroger's. And I want to say this one was $9. It's worth it. So, anywho, I have been using this jojoba oil container because of the spout. But in this container here, I have the rest of this jojoba oil along with. Um, this castor oil that I got out of Walmart, this is what I was using before I got my black Jamaican oil. And it's just, and I've been doing this because I'm also participating in a bun challenge um, with Lady Nefertiti um, BK here on the YT, as well as a castor oil challenge with the headmistress. Okay, um, so I'm trying to get my hair right. I did the big chop back in. Um, January the beginning of the year and my hair is just now coming to where I can see it's growing so I just wanted to come in and, and ramble a little bit about the products that I've been using um, and then also how I have been getting a lot of my information from so many of you here on the YT especially the headmistress whenever I have a uh, aka Brandy when I have a question about the products that she uses she's really really helpful and I do appreciate that because this is all new to me um, I had she sent me a chart when I couldn't figure out whether my hair was a 4C 4A I don't know um, so anyway I just washed my hair so maybe you can help me and I have a little bit more light in here and hopefully you can see that this is my hair and I just washed it and conditioned it so it's still damp no other products but this is my hair maybe you can tell me what I have 4A, 4C, 4B, ABZ I don't know tell me what's going on what you think and this is my growth thus far and um, I'm getting ready to do my scalp yes I'm getting ready to do my scalp and when I did my big chop I had probably this much hair because I used my husband's clippers and just took it all off um, but this is it I'm not gonna do a link check right now I just wanted to know what kind of damn hair I got can you see I mean I do know that I, I that's a little bit of conditioner that's left in my hair and I know I need to get my ends clipped but I want to know how are you supposed to tell what kind of hair you have I don't know how are you supposed to know 
and I know I do need to dye my hair I got some grays popping up so I'm going to be doing that um, oh yeah and I also saw that um one of my other YT one of my newer um, divas on here I just um, subscribed to oh I love her to death she's just so inspirational spiritual and uplifting and Christian oh I love it um, but she said that she um, heard that black dye can get in your bloodstream and cause cancer and you know she prayed about it and did her thing and dyed her hair anyway and I, t I asked my mom about it because my mom is old school uh, my mom was born in 1935 so she, she's been there done that and heard a lot of stuff so I asked her about it and she said yeah she's also heard the same thing about the um, about the black dye getting in your bloodstream so I'm gonna have to pray about it too because I ain't trying to have no grays in my hair so anywho, y'all, this this um, I know I'm rambling, but I'm I'm using my cell phone and I don't have much time. But I wanted to come on real quickly and chit chat with you. I have a wig review coming up. Thank you to all of my subscribers. I can't. I'm trying to comment, so I'm I'm getting some in and I'm not getting other ones in. I was able to comment on Sexy Farah's video and a couple of other divas, but this I tell you, this is a mess. So if YouTube our administration and Google administration is watching. Um, I love you all and I love to be able to connect with my divas and I'm not complaining I'm just letting you know that it's a big concern when you make these changes when something is working and then you stop it and it's very very frustrating it's a learning curve um, anywho y'all I'm watching your videos I'm still here thank you all for your support what kind of hair do I have 4A 4Z B D what's up what do you think so I'm getting ready to give my hair and my scalp a little bit of love. Anyway, y'all, hopefully this is a um, blessed day for you. You had a nice Friday night. I hope you have a remainder of a great weekend. I have a wig review coming up. I will be back maybe tonight or tomorrow with the outfit of the day um, and also with the wig review coming up. Anyway, um, again, I'm ready to use my Jamaican black castor oil. And then also, I did try this already, and it's the... Again, it's the Strong Roots Red Pimento Hair Growth Oil, and I'll be using that concentrating on the shorter area of my hair up in here. And I don't know about y'all, but I something is going on with my scalp up in here. It gets really, really irritated. I don't know what it is. It's just it just won't grow right there like it used to. And I'm not sure if it's something going on with the oil, the castor oil in my hair, or my scalp is just tender. I don't know. And my hair back in this little one section right here the top here is a circle like this and it's about this length and it won't it's like it's it's trying to grow it's pushing but I can't figure out what it is and why it's so sensitive right there anywho I will talk to y'all later I appreciate you all much love I know I'm rambling um, if you can comment comment if not hey I understand but tell a sister what I got what is this what kind of texture is this I'm gonna try to try to do a braid out and I'll I don't know but I need to braid it up and that's what I'm gonna do to protect it and put my um, scarf back on it until I go outside and I wear my unit on my head but anywho y'all I wanna keep talking but I gotta go I'm babysitting and I got somebody covering for me for a minute to while I do this video and I had to take a shower and stuff but anyway y'all love y'all and I'll check y'all out in the next video this is